Okay, so everyone's talking about when is the release date of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 14, the Awakened Warriors pack. Well, I got that answer in today's video, so go ahead, hit that like button, send those thumbs up into the sky, and guys, I want to get a hundred thumbs up into the sky on this video to send Perfection Sama all that energy, all that admiration, all that support for the Perfection Sama Genki Dama. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button, enable all notifications so you get everything anime, gaming, fighting games, so you get some exposed videos, everything that you guys love here on the channel. Now guys, this is big because a lot of people have been questioning when is the next Xenoverse 2 DLC 14 Kanton City so we can go ahead and get the reveal of GT Vegeta being the second hero vote character and people are asking when is the release date of DLC 14 because there's a lot of mystery like this whole thing is just mired in mystery and just intrigue because a lot of people there's unrest coming up a lot of people are just anxious I mean we got the release of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie and I'm here to tell you guys the release date of DLC 14 is directly tied with the release of Dragon Ball Super Superhero now this is how it works if you've been living under a rock I'm gonna go ahead and let you know the release date of Dragon Ball Super Superhero Dragon Ball Super Superhero releases on the 11th of June. So that's when they come out. I think that's a Friday or Saturday. And the DLC for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, DLC 14, the Awakened Warriors pack, is coming out June the 14th. They're coming out directly after the movie. So I want to clarify that. I've already gotten that confirmed. They are coming out the week, well, the week, not a week after the release of the movie, but that following week. So basically, the movie's coming out June the 11th. The DLC is slated to come out June the 14th. Everything allowing, like if nothing else happens, if there's not another hack, a leak, or whatever, uh, it is slated to come out June the 14th, the DLC pack. So movie, the 11th, DLC pack, the 14th. Now the reason that is, is because there's content in DLC 14 that is going to spoil the movie. Now a lot of people are going to say, well we already know about Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. That, 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 no, that's not the character. The secret character that's been hidden and been hinted at and is coming out of that pod, Majin 21, they don't want to spoil that movie yet. So they're not going to show it in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, not yet. But exactly after the release of that movie they're going to be releasing the character the character is going to get dropped in Dragon Ball Legends they're going to have that following up immediately and then in Xenoverse 2 they're going to come out with the DLC pack after the movie so guys you can expect all that coming out very soon me personally I'm interested in GT Vegeta I've said this before I'm very excited with what they're able to do with this character because they're going to have to get really creative and think outside the box to make him stand out from the other characters. So that's a good thing. Uh, with Majin 21, or let me just say it for all intents and purpose, purposes, the mystery character, um, I'm excited about her too. Like I'm thinking about everything that she's going to be able to do in Xenoverse 2 because she might be implemented in a completely different way than what we're thinking. We're thinking we're going to get a direct rip of Dragon Ball Fighters, and while that is intriguing, we don't know what she's gonna do in a movie. She might come out and have a whole different array of skills, or rather, the mystery character might come out and have a whole different array of skills. Now, it's not gonna be Gohan, because Gohan's still gonna be Ultimate Gohan. There's no reason to have, like, not even a unique outfit, because it's just his, his Cell Saga. Uh, his Cell Saga fit. There's no reason to have like a, a unique outfit or anything. He's gonna be doing the same stuff. Now Piccolo, they can cover an awakening, but this mystery villain, this mystery character that's coming out in this movie, that is going to be the character that they're holding out for. Of course, you're gonna get Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. They haven't shown them yet, but that might be getting shown in the next Kanton City TV. You never know. I mean, we could come up which that's a lot of people are like really anxious about that. That's coming out within the next two weeks. The next Kanton City TV that's going to reveal GT Vegeta. And they'll go ahead and go ahead and reveal uh, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. But that mystery character, 
that almighty mystery character is who everyone is turned up over. They're hyped over, they're anxious, they're chomping at the bit to get this character. And I'm telling you guys, when, when Maji 21 drops, it is going to be monumental. Now, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, I, at this point with those two characters, one's going to be Key Blast Super because of their ultimate, the other's going to be the Strike Super because of their ultimate. I mean, I guess you could get a unique fit from them, I guess. I, I mean, I could see people using the helmets and the outfits to, you know, to come up with some drip, but uh, I don't know. A lot of people are not, like, turned up over them. A lot of people are not hyped over Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. It's like they're there and they're new content, but, man, everyone wants that mystery character. Whether you think it's a new cell, whether you know it's a Majin 21 or an Android 21 character, a lot of people are looking on this movie for a new character, new content, and we also just went over the potential for a new Broly, a Super Saiyan Blue Broly in this movie. So there's a lot of things that could be coming out with this DLC pack. With DLC 14, we're looking at Ultra Instinct Sign Goku, GT Vegeta, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, a mystery character, which could be the mystery villain, uh, a, a potential new form of Broly, like Super Saiyan Blue Broly, or whatever the form is. Like, we're already waiting on Ikari Broly and the Ikari Super, Super Saiyan Broly. We're waiting on that. So, that's tons of characters. So, we could come out of this looking at GT Goku 1, G, uh, not GT Goku, Go, uh, Ultra Instinct Goku 1, uh, GT Goku, GT Vegeta 2, Gamma 1, that's 3, Gamma 2, that's 4. The mystery character, that's five, uh, whoever it may be. And then, if on top of all that, they throw in either a new Broly or a new Piccolo, we could be looking at six potential new characters coming out in this DLC pack. It just depends on what new content they can bring, what new moves they can bring. We know at, at least Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 can at least be bring two new ultimates to the game with the, like, the little laser blaster and then the boom pow, zip pow, whatever strike super that could be on a goofy character. They could bring that in with those characters. I mean, you know, we've already seen Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. He looks great. And GT Vegeta, that remains to be seen what he could potentially do in this DLC pack. So it all really rides on whether or not we get a new Broly and what that mystery character is. Like, what is that mystery villain? They're holding it back. This is the only reason we've not seen an inkling or a hint of Dragon Ball Super Super Hero because they do not want to spoil this movie because if they show the character in Xenoverse 2 in any promotional footage, they, they want to have all the hype generated and they want it to just be a hype train. Like the movie comes out on the 11th, you can get this DLC on the 14th. Bam, that's what they want to do. I've already had this confirmed. Guys, this is going to be big. So set your calendars, the release date, the release date of the DLC, June the 14th. Kanton City TV should be within the next two weeks. Uh, it should be before the expected uh, weekly Shonen Jump, Shonen V Jump scans that typically come out around the 16th to the 18th in that little pocket. It, we should be getting it before that, so expect that to be a thing. Guys, that's been everything for today. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button. We want to get a hundred likes in this video. Send those thumbs up into the sky. Get Perfection Sama. The, all that energy, all that support, all that admiration for the Perfection Sama Ginky Dama. And I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe so you get everything. Enable all notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.